Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Wherever you are, and indeed whenever you are, a massive, massive, massive welcome to Ratchet and Clank HD. Um, yeah, this is going to be the first in my sort of retro series. And you're probably thinking, well, retro? Well, this came out in 2012. No, it's not retro at all, but it is, because the original came out in, um, I think it said 2002. Uh, I'm not sure when, but I would have been about 11 or 12 when this first came out. And this is quite a, uh, you know, it's an important game to me, so I figured that, you know, where best to start with this kind of retro series than, than a game that means quite a lot to me. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get going. In case you're new to my videos, um, thank you already for making it this far. <laughs> um, I'm Moonwalker Morris, but you can call me, just call me Morris. Call me whatever you want to call me. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, this is such an awesome game though. And I'm already excited for it. I'm gonna turn it up. Yeah. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Oh, I don't have one of those. And a hero was born. Oh my lord, it's Ratchet and Clank. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. Hi, Gadgetron we Help Desk. For you advice during your interplanetary travels. The help is specifically service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Well, gee, thank you. These, what, what is wrong with the camera here? Sorry, I'm just gonna have to. Stop. <laughs> is it, is it reversed, reversed? Ah, that's much better. Ah, yeah, welcome, guys, to Ratchet and Clank. Um. Yeah, I've, I don't know, I bought I bought this game, well, I bought the HD version, like, months ago. I'm going to turn it down while I talk, just so I can hear myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, I bought the HD version quite a while ago, and I was thinking, should I record this or not? But I kind of had other things going on at the same time, so I thought, nah, we'll leave it, and maybe I'll come back to it at a later date. But I thought, no time like the present, I'm starting to, um, to think of ideas for, for games I can record the kind of retro game. I'm thinking, when I say retro, I mean, um, you know, I don't mean like, well, it's, it's kind of a broad, broad term. It doesn't just mean old kind of, you know, Mega Drive games or anything like that. It's, um, you know, just, oh, just old games that I, that, that, that mean a lot to me, personally. I mean, this was, uh, one of the first ones I got on PlayStation 2. And, um, God bless my mother for, uh, for getting it for me. Ah, uh, because this was, uh, you know, this was a time when um, I was less, well, I was only 11 or 12, I was less financially independent, shall we say, than I am now. And you know, it comes from a time when games sort of meant, it meant a little bit more to get a game like this. <laughs> and it was actually one of the, um, one of the only games I've ever bought based solely on the demo and nothing else. Um, 
Others including, uh, I think, I think God of War is probably the only other one that I've that I bought based only on on the demo. But you know, it was it was those kind of days. You didn't have as much sort of access to info about games. Now you couldn't just go on YouTube because it didn't exist and look at you know footage of a game being played and then you know decide from that. As is common practice, I understand these days. <laughs> Uh, yeah, look at this game. This is this stands up to modern games today. I think. I mean, it's just every every. Yeah, oh. it's amazing. I, I always one of the things that always strikes me about this game is the kind of the colours and the locations. Because sorry, guys, just trying to help desk. I don't mean to interrupt you every time, but. <laughs> But yeah, the, I mean, look, look at this. This planet is like brown and grey and stuff, but it still looks like amazingly vibrant and interesting and, you know, alive, you know? It's one of the things I love about this game. You always feel like you're part of something a little bigger. And I love this weapon as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is an awesome first weapon here. wrench. So many good things about this game. And for some reason collecting bolts never gets old. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's got a great collectible feeling about it. Like, it's not tedious because things are expensive in this game, you know? You're always saving up for something. Especially true of Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio. Captain Quark. Other than that, no. Voice acting in this is amazing, by the way. The solar system we'll get on to that anyway. one later. Because you know I always come back to the voice acting. <laughs> Hello, citizens of. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. 
You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Oh yeah. Imagine that. You just built a ship, you just finished it, and then you crash it into another planet. Holy moly. Look at this place. Look at it. Let me just take a second. God, it looks so good. Stuff's flying around, exploding. God, I love this game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, can I buy anything yet? I don't think I can. Ah, uh, blaster. We'll get that later. I don't think I can afford it just yet. But yeah, Chairman Drek is a pretty cool villain, I think. And uh, you might recognize the guy who plays him. Um, his name's Kevin Michael Richardson. And he's in there. Uh, I mean, I didn't know this until recently. I only just realized. But um, he's in. He does a lot of cartoons. I, well, I don't watch cartoons, but I watch. I still watch The Simpsons and Family Guy, and you know all that kind of stuff. So he and he's in a lot of that. So you might recognize him. His voice. Looking back, you know, it seems obvious. But uh, but yeah, I love the dialogue. You know, it's just it's it's funny and it's it's not it's not kind of like a lot of it's just stupid humor, but at the same time, the, the, there's a lot of intelligence behind behind some of it. Some of the dialogue, the way it's delivered as well. It's just awesome. Even as a kid, you can appreciate that kind of stuff. But yeah, I was playing... Um, what reminded me of this really was... Uh, I've been playing Ratchet & Clank 3 uh, HD as well. Well, I got, I got all three of them, and... Uh, all the original three, I mean. And yeah, I was playing that, and I was, I'm kind of, I'm going for the, uh, the platinum trophy at the moment. And it's why they're all like super easy to get, but it's weird because it's, um, like I'm doing it in a very kind of systematic way. Because I'm looking at the trophies and I'm going, okay, yeah, so if I get, uh, I'll get that trophy, I'll go to that planet next and get that. And, you know, I'm doing it very sort of orderly, and like, oh yeah, I'll upgrade this weapon. But think about when, um, Think about playing this for the first time. Like you would, you would collect stuff and you would, uh, you know, upgrade all the weapons and you know go to all the planets and get all the uh, the skill points and the golden bolts and things like that. I think I've already missed a golden bolt, but um, you know, you do all that stuff just just to do it, just because it was so much fun. You know, had so much replay value. Plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said crazy. the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich <laughs> folks off this <laughs> dog. That made me laugh every time. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. I'll take that off your hands. General 
I'm a sucker for collecting every single bolt. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? So chances are I'm gonna be able to afford everything whenever I want it. <laughs> mayday, mayday! This is the solar ship radical. We seem to be under attack. Oh, uh, Skid McMarks. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of I love these two. display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long. Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. New planets? Awesome. Okay, well, we just hit uh, 15 minutes, guys. A little bit. Enter, Would you please stop interrupting me, Gadgetron? Lady? I mean, you're hot, but I I'm sorry. I've just I've got to do the commentary. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys, uh, this this opening episode to Ratchet and Clank HD. And do join me for the next one, guys, where we'll be probably clean up the rest of this, this godforsaken planet. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in a bit. See you later.